what was it that got you into sort of acting and like you know just like what, what was it that you felt like i this is what i need this is what i'm going to gravitate towards or i'm i'm good at this and my my quick witted there's something about me that's different that i think i could be successful about this for with this yeah um yeah well i no i mean i i was always just a fucking funny idiot at school you know um i was like like a uh, I was like a like a weird kind of stunt man. I'd like fall off a wall, or I'd run into a garage door, or I'd do a big stunt on my bike. Or and I was cheeky and funny, and you know, just that, that everything you do to try and cover up being lonely as a child, right? Uh, and afraid. And but I was funny, you know. I, I lived at when I was like eighteen, nineteen. I lived in Palestine for two years, and I made people laugh and I was good at it and I was a and I was a waiter for years and I was really good at that so I was funny and smart and I made loads of tips and and I never I honest to god never wanted I never thought about not once did I get to a point and think oh fuck what am I going to do you know I just never I just never thought like that really uh, not that I didn't think I just never thought like that. my parents never pushed me Right. They never said, oh, now you need to go to college or, you know. I left school at six, six, just 16, I'd turn. So, and then went to work at a company, um, like a shipping company selling containers. Um, but I was always the funniest fucker, you know. Right. And I think it was only <laughs> when I was at, at Chiquito's Mexican bar and restaurant that I kind of met Simon and, and, I never realized, I never knew stand-up was a thing. I, I'd never, I mean, I had seen films, but I didn't know what cinema was. Right. You know, <laughs> I didn't know you could get paid for telling jokes or telling stories or being funny, being an idiot, you know. And so I met Simon and, and we just made each other laugh just all the time. As, you know, it was just, and he said, why don't you go try and do some stand-up? And so I thought, yeah, well, fuck it. Let me, yeah, let me, let me do that, you know. <laughs> and I, I did twelve gigs, and uh, six were amazing, and six were like the lowest point of my <laughs> of life. Of course, just, yes. <laughs> I think I'd rather bury my mum again than do some of those gigs. <laughs> they, they were just really bad, you know. And I did, it just wasn't for me. I just felt like it wasn't. I didn't know what it, you know, I never realised that. I just wanted it to be great immediately because I can make everyone laugh in the pub yet. Right. I can't do this. I don't know how to do this. <laughs> I didn't realise it was a fierce skill. And, you know, you, you you do it for years before you get good at it. Right. And you didn't want to spend the years. With your ADD, you couldn't spend years to get good at it. You're like, I'm not taking this time. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Um, also, it was like suffering with anxiety of, being around loads of people and it took a lot out of me. You know, I was yeah. like, I'd have a big headache afterwards and I just didn't like it because I was thinking about it all day and I felt like that feeling you get before having going to have a shot, you know, I was like, oh, I've got to do a fucking gig. To, you know, I hated it. Just I feeling like, like you have feeling. to take a shit all the time. <laughs> the nerves, you have to take a fucking, as you called it once, a Yankee long, you uh, know. Yes. But, you know, that's just the thing. Uh, yeah, it's like I'd just been spent the day eating steak and cake and then having to push that out of me. <laughs> and you feel like uh, that all the time, just performing and getting on stage at 11 o'clock at night. I know I've done it too. I did stand up for about, I probably did it for about almost a year. And every time I go, why do you put yourself through this? And then all of a sudden you hear the applause and you're like, because I love that, but I hate everything up to that. I hate everything yeah. up to the point of actually everyone laughing. The whole yeah. day just feels like shit. I'm yeah. nervous. Yeah. I have to be great. I, I put too much pressure on myself. But I still have that now before every acting gig I, I've ever done. Um, I do too. I will be up all night shitting myself and being sick and just being fucking frightened of, of, of uh, you know, I think it's changed now, but, but now it's about a fear of failure, you know, a fear of not knowing my dialogue and, and fucking the production up and everyone... Hey, you know what I mean?